Alice, your company has had a lot of experience both globally and within uh, the Canadian market for MDM. What advice do you have for other IT leaders when it comes to executing on an MDM program? Number one is governance. Um, that's that's the toughest thing, really, is to really uh, show the business case for MDM because, it, as Darren just mentioned, it's again enab enabling the business and tying back to business capabilities. But it's really hard to show the financial clear financial impact of master data. And I think showing that and t taking the time to build that business case, that then builds into governance and really ownership of master data organizationally is the number one key to success. We can have really great technologies like um, Magnitude Software's offerings, but we're not gonna implement them successfully if we as a business do not own them, we're not accountable for the data, maintaining that data, and really making sure that we know what we're trying to achieve w over time with that data. And that has not been a strong suit of ours. Um, as I said, we used to be regional and now we're combined. A lot of people you know, from that model have changed. So that knowledge, that governance and that accountability and ownership is definitely your foundation for a successful master data program. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, uh, looking at architecture is extremely important. We've had a proliferation of projects over time that have added many, many master data interfaces, both operationally and analytically and, you know, kind of going through that jungle of like interfaces is really time consuming, no documentation. So really understanding your architecture, simplifying your architecture, going back to again, the governance for projects when adding to that architecture and master data. And then the last but not least is planning for the future. We've had many cases where we wanted to change reports, we wanted to change BI, but we couldn't do that because things were locked in from 10, 20 years ago having the flexibility to look forward 10 to 20 years and really not assuming that whatever requirement I get for my business today will be still valid even in three months is really important because we might end up, you know, everything will be great today, but in three months to a year, we might not be able to um, do the kind of BI reporting we would want. And we don't want MDM to be the problem. We want it to be an enabler. So in that sense, we need to plan for 10, 20 years out as far as we know the business today. And thirdly, um, I think the long-term strate strategic vision for BI and master data in general is really important. Uh, because as we have new projects, things get added up over time, we need to be able to actually follow a roadmap that is flexible and gives the business the ability to do what they want 10 to 20 years down the road. So MDM is an enabler and not a preventer to achieve BI and analytics and decision making.